Growing up, a staple comfort food in our house was meatloaf. Now, I know what you may be thinking. Meatloaf is boring. Well, it doesn't have to be, especially if you wrap it in some bacon and douse it in some homemade barbecue sauce. So let's give our meatloaf a makeover. Grab your apron, get inspired, and let's make something yummy together today from the Dewey Kitchen. Now because meatloaf is such a staple, people have all sorts of different recipes for making it, but we're going to keep ours pretty simple. And the reason is, is because the bacon and the barbecue sauce are going to be the stars of the recipe. We're going to start by heading over to the stove and making the sauce. So here are all the ingredients that you'll need to make a great homemade barbecue sauce. For the homemade barbecue sauce, you'll need 15 ounces of tomato sauce, half cup of apple cider vinegar, a third cup honey, a quarter cup tomato paste, a quarter cup molasses, three tablespoons Worcestershire sauce, two teaspoons liquid smoke, one teaspoon smoked paprika, one teaspoon garlic powder, half teaspoon pepper, half teaspoon onion powder, and half teaspoon salt. And an optional ingredient includes a pinch of cayenne pepper if you'd like some extra zing. Okay, we're going to start off this recipe by making our simple, delicious barbecue sauce, and it couldn't be easier. I know what you're thinking. Homemade barbecue sauce? Do I really need to make homemade barbecue sauce? Of course not. Any kind of barbecue sauce that may be your favorite, buy it from the store. It will work perfectly great with this recipe. I'll be a little disappointed that you didn't try the homemade barbecue sauce after I went through all that trouble, but I'll get over it. I've got all my liquid ingredients already here ready to go and I'm just going to turn on the fire here and I'm going to add my dry ingredients. Now the reason why I love making a homemade barbecue sauce is because you can customize the ingredients. If you want a little spice you can put in a little cayenne pepper. If you want less sweetness you can take out the honey. Almost everything is optional including the liquid smoke. If you like a little less smoky just get a little less liquid smoke and you'll be fine. Putting in my dry ingredients now. And all I'm going to do is give this a good mix. Look at that delicious molasses already in there. Crush up the tomato paste here. And I'm just going to keep mixing this for a while as it heats up. You can already see it's beginning to turn a beautiful barbecue color and it already smells delicious with all of those spices in there. And that is it. That's all. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this come to a simmer, a really good strong simmer. Then we're going to turn down the heat and we're going to simmer it a little while longer. So we're going to let that happen and I'll catch you on the other side. Okay, our barbecue sauce has been simmering for a good 15 minutes and I can just tell you the entire kitchen smells like delicious barbecue sauce. Spicy, you can smell the sweetness. It is delicious. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pour this into a jar. I'm going to use a funnel here and I'm going to use a, a ladle just to prevent mess. And look how pretty that is. It's thick but it's not too thick. Oh, and it just smells delicious. And there it is, a beautiful and delicious barbecue sauce. Look at the color. It smells delightful. I'm going to taste here. Mmm. That is sweet. It has a little bite in the back of your tongue. Uh, it is absolutely delicious. So we're going to set this aside now. We're going to let it cool. And now we're going to move to our meatloaf. 
Now here are all the ingredients that you're gonna need for this bacon-wrapped barbecue meatloaf. For the meatloaf, you'll need approximately a pound and a half of meat. This could be a traditional blend of beef, pork, veal, or sausage, or you could use ground beef, ground turkey, or ground chicken by itself. One cup seasoned breadcrumbs, a half cup finely chopped yellow onion, one large egg, half teaspoon garlic powder, half teaspoon salt, half teaspoon black pepper, three to four slices of bacon, and finally a barbecue sauce of your choosing. Okay, we're ready to start our meatloaf. Now, there are hundreds of different ways to make meatloafs. You can customize this with just about anything that you'd like. You might want to put some jalapenos in it to make it spicy, extra onions in it. But here's what I like to do. With these ingredients that we've listed, I'm just going to dump everything in here. My breadcrumbs, my egg, my onion. Now you may notice that my onions are sauteed. That's because I love to saute onions before adding them to a recipe like this. I take a quarter tablespoon of butter, add the chopped onions, season them with salt and pepper, and saute for about five to seven minutes. Sauteing your onions before you add them to a recipe will add just a little extra delicious flavor. And I'm gonna give it an initial mix here. just to get it started, but then I'm going to just dig in and work this with my hands. Just nice and mixed until it comes together. You want to make sure that the breadcrumbs are as evenly distributed through the mixture as possible. Alright, I think that that is good. I'm going to take my foil wrapped pan. I'm going to take this out. And I'm going to just start molding it into a nice loaf here. And that, I think, looks pretty nice. You do want to leave it nice and thick, but you also want to make sure that it is thin enough to where it will cook all the way through. Okay, now we're going to take some of our delicious barbecue sauce that we made earlier and we're just going to go ahead and put some of this on here. We'll let it run down the edges. And now we're going to take our bacon Just going to lay this on top of here, kind of drape it like this. Trying to capture all the sides here. Back and forth until we have it nicely wrapped. Then we're going to take more of the barbecue sauce and we're going to just put it right on top of this bacon here. Until everything is nicely coated that is already beginning to look delicious. And that's it, how simple. Now I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. Now you may notice that I've left the meatloaf uncovered. I haven't put any foil on top of it. And that's because we want the bacon to get nice and crispy and for that barbecue sauce to really bake into everything. No cover required. And we'll see how it turns out. I'll catch you on the other side. Okay, I've taken this out of the oven and I've let it sit for maybe about 10 to 15 minutes before I cut into it. And I'm going to try a piece. Oh, this just looks so lovely. Look at the beautiful glaze on top. The bacon has cooked very well. Mmm, 
Let's stay together. Let me just taste this. Mmm. That is delicious. The barbecue sauce is sweet and tangy. The bacon has really baked down into the meat so that the flavor is just delicious. And now you must have mashed potatoes with this. You just absolutely must. But I could also see a beautiful grilled asparagus with this. Maybe uh, some sauteed green beans or grilled corn. Any of that would be delightful with this. I hope that you've enjoyed today's episode. If you did, do me a favor and please hit the subscribe button so you can look forward the next episode and we'll see you next time on from the dewey kitchen if you tried this recipe great job and we want to know how it turned out so send a photo of your results to i tried it at from the dewey and maybe you'll be featured on the next episode